Hey friends, it's Michelle from Little's Farm in the Valley. It is kind of hazy out right now, as you can see. And I think that's still from the forest fires in Canada or wherever they are. Um, so I thought today would be a perfect day to do a garden tour for you guys because what I really hate when I watch people's garden videos is when they do it, like when the sun is shining, it kind of reflects on the plants and you can't really see much of what they're trying to show you. So I thought that I would wait for a cloudy day, in this case, a hazy day, to show you what's in the garden. So we're gonna do a garden tour and I'm kind of excited because like I come down and pick what's ready, but I don't, or I haven't really snooped around much to see what else I can find that's ready. So this garden tour is kind of as much for me as it is for you. So. This is going to be fun. Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. These are my garden pests and they somehow find a way in. Even when I close the fence, these two find their way in somehow. So the guys are actually working on the chicken coop. So we might go down there and see what they're doing. I'll see if I can get in here without a pig and a goat. I gotta get my stroller in. The pig will get in. He just goes under the fence. But the goat kind of can't do that yet. So here's hoping the goat can't get in. So, um, well, we had strawberry plants here. This one was doing great and then it died. This one was never doing very good. So yeah, I'm not very good at strawberries, apparently. There's chives under there. These are the potatoes. Steven dug around the other day and said they're, they're there, but they're still super tiny. See that little potato there? Now it's out of focus. There. It's still really small, but the main thing is, hopefully we will have potatoes. Okay, so down here we had originally planted like our lettuce and spinach and all that good stuff, all that early stuff, radishes. So now that that's gone, we planted corn as you can see. There's actually a row of corn out there that are earlier, but we decided this doesn't look like enough, so we better do more. And then down here somewhere, I recently planted a row of organic carrots, which I'm going to have to weed soon. There's a few. Yeah, this is bad with the grass. There's also a row of Indian corn that Stephen tilled down because he didn't know. There's a few survivors. So yeah, this is bad with the grass. Being it's the first year, we're going to be fighting with the grass for a few years. That's where the plastic really comes in handy, but obviously you can't put everything on plastic. I think he planted a row of beets here the other day. There's a row of beets buried in grass and pea plants. So as you can see, the peas are about done. They're drying up. I still pick them when I'm doing the string beans. The string beans are just starting. So there's our first row of string beans. I've picked them a few times. The first times I kind of just got enough to eat for a meal, but the second time I actually got a whole bucket full and pickled some. There's the marigolds. So this is a Brussels sprout. And this hasn't done anything. And I can't figure out why. I, I don't know why that is not doing anything. There's the broccoli. Ooh, that needs to be picked. I'm gonna have to freeze some broccoli soon. I've already taken some of these off, but broccoli keeps coming back. So, oh, all of this looks big. Okay, I think my next garden project is gonna be freezing broccoli. Can't really see the cauliflower because I have it closed with a rubber band, but I did already take a bunch off and pickled it. That doesn't come back though. So once that's gone, it's gone. Here we have cabbage. This is purple cabbage. 
And then the rest of the cabbage is pretty much gone. There's a couple heads, but they're not looking really good. So this is something I tried this year that I'm never gonna do again. I read somewhere online that if you plant sunflowers with your cucumbers, the cucumbers will climb onto the sunflowers and they'll taste sweeter because of the sunflowers. So what happened is the sunflowers grew. You can see how thick that is. And they completely are stifling the cucumbers. Like, how do you even get under there to pick cucumbers? Uh, yeah, bad idea. <laughs> so I did another row of cucumbers here. They're starting to produce now, so I've picked a few times. Just for reference, this is July... What is it? 14 or 15? So that's where we're at. Um, the cucumbers are just starting. Yeah, never doing this again. Even though the sunflowers are pretty, I will never plant them with cucumbers again. So these are my late beans. Some of them came up. I went into all the holes where they weren't up yet and planted some more, but not all of them are coming. They're blooming, it looks like. So these should be my late green beans. Oh, there's the zucchini over there. I'm already picking zucchini, but it's kind of um, slow. I, I think my uh, zucchini seeds are too old. Like the last few years, they've not been producing very well. So here we have peppers, obviously. We have like a whole mix of peppers. There's bell peppers. There's, I think these are like bullhorn sweet bell or something like that. So they're starting. There's just a bell. And then we have jalapenos, banana. There's a banana plant that I've been watching. There's a pepper that's ready. That is super exciting. So the tomatoes, I'm struggling right now because there's tomatoes that I've been watching, like this cherry plant. They're just not ripening. Like, I've been waiting for weeks for a red tomato. I mean, there's a lot of tomatoes on them, but they're just not ripening. I don't know. A lot of these are Roma tomatoes. These are, I think these are chili peppers. So yeah, we've got, we should have a lot of tomatoes, but I don't know, for whatever reason, it's just taking forever. So anyway, hopefully, all of these will ripen and we'll have tomatoes soon. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being too impatient. But really, the weather's been a little bit weird. Like it's been, cooling off at night to where it normally doesn't. I don't know if that's having an effect on, on the tomatoes or not. So let's make our way to the next weed patch. This is also not on plastic. I'm not proud of this. So there's a few rows of beets and dill and then the garlic and the onions. I tried. I've weeded these onions three times. The last time I put that newspaper down, but I didn't have enough grass clippings to hold it down. So I see some of it blew away and just overall not impressed with this patch this year because we're just fighting that grass. Hopefully next year we'll give it a couple good tillings and that'll help with the grass situation. There's a garlic flower. I took all of the scapes off, if you remember that. And I said I would leave a few just to see what the garlic flower looks like. So there's that. Over there, there's some rhubarb and that row of corn that I told you about. Okay, this is our squash, pumpkin, and melon patch. And there's some exciting stuff happening here. The only squash I planted 
was spaghetti squash because that's my favorite. I do want some other squash, but I don't like it enough to plant it. So there's a lot of spaghetti squash coming. There's a pumpkin. Pumpkins are also popping up all over the place. I saw one in here. And I think these pumpkins are probably going to intermix with, uh, with the squash a little bit. Let's see if we can see some more pumpkins in here. I planted like the big regular ones and then I planted a bunch of pie pumpkins. And I don't remember which is which. I guess the pie pumpkins are smaller. So once they grow, we'll figure it out. These are honeydew melons. I can't wait for those. And my watermelon did not do too good. Like I had at least all of these holes were planted and I only have what four survivors but it is what it is I'll just be happy to get at least a melon or two out of this first time planting melons it's looking promising there's the pretty zinnias So there you have it. That is pretty much the garden right now. There's Wyatt. He's always helping. He is seven months old and just starting to get up on furniture and try to walk. He'll be walking before he's eight months old. How scary is that? Sure. Let's see if we can find some more potatoes. What size are they? Hmm. Oh, I see a few. Yay. Apparently our chickens are finally um, pulling their weight. We have 10 that are laying and we've only been getting like five or six eggs today we got eight so things are looking up so these are the purple fingerling potatoes Let's see if there's anything down here we planted these what good friday or easter sunday good friday so they're they're definitely a little behind from previous years but we had a late frost, and these potatoes definitely had some frost, but they recovered. There's some, but they're not big yet. Well, they don't actually get very big. They're just a small potato. Benny's just trying to get in here. So these are the butcher chickens. The Cornish Cross. These guys are six, maybe even seven weeks. They're growing slower than we thought they would. But it's actually okay, we don't mind. We started giving them a little bit more food. We'll try that for a week, see what happens. They look good though. They look healthy and happy. Okay, we'll see what's going on in here. I think he said he wanted to take out the support beams and put a door in some way or somehow. gone. I actually can't even tell where they were. Well, there's one that's still up here. So I guess the other one was probably there. So anyway, this door works now. Put some, they're putting some hinges on it and then we just need to figure out a way to like keep it latched 
and still be able to open it from both sides. There's a bunch of chickens already going to bed. So that's the chicken coop update. There's a bunch of Rhode Island Reds and some little guinea hens down here. And then the peacocks are hiding. And there are me up the ladder. And there's him up the ladder. I got to get back to the garden. So anyway, I decided that I should probably take off the broccoli today because I have a little chunk of time and really it needs to be done sooner rather than later. So I think if I take it off today and just cut it into pieces and put it in like ice water overnight and freeze it tomorrow, that'll save me a lot of time tomorrow if I do that today. So um, I think I'll go do that. This is starting to turn yellow and I'm pretty sure if I leave it, it'll start to bolt, which means little shoots start coming up and it just looks, it doesn't look as pretty as that big firm head. So yeah, I think it's time. This kind of looks like it's bolting. You can see how uneven it is, but this is because we already took off the main head and there's just a bunch of shoots growing. That's kind of what it does after you take off the main head, but you can still get a lot of broccoli off it after you take off the main one though. Okay, here's my broccoli, pretty good load. I took off everything that I could see. There's a little one I missed. So now I'm gonna just cover this back up and then we'll head up to the house and start cutting this up. It really is a nice evening, even though it's hazy. So this is a broccoli worm. And we don't want that. So I'm all done. And the next step is going to be to fill this with water. And then I'm going to pour some salt over it in case there are still any worms left. The salt is supposed to draw out the worms. So we're just going to generously put some salt in it and fill it with water. And I'll probably put a big chunk of ice in there just so it stays nice and cool overnight. Alright, it's the next morning. It's another hazy morning. You can barely see the sun. So I've got my water going to blanch the broccoli. So the reason that we blanch things before we freeze them is blanching stops the enzyme action, which would otherwise cause loss of flavor and color in some cases. So apparently that's why blanching is done. And I don't think I'm going to blanch this broccoli for very long, probably just two minutes, because I don't want it to get too soft and wilty. So we're just going to do it for like two minutes. So here's our broccoli. I don't really see any worms, but they probably 
I'm thinking they fell to the bottom, if there are any. I guess once we get to the bottom, oh, I bet I see one. Once we get to the bottom, we'll see how many are down there. See if the salt did its work. Good morning, Amos. Okay, so we've got our handy dandy little wagon. And we're just going to go over here. I've got the blanching pot on the side of the grill there. So that's where we're heading. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and toss a bunch in there. And then I'm going to put a two minute timer on my phone. And then we'll... Oh, actually, I need to get my, my cold water bath going before the two minutes is up. I've got two minutes to do that. Wish me luck. Pile is pretty full. I think I might only need to do two pots full. I think this is full enough. Okay, I better go get my water bath going. So this is what it looks like after I've taken out the broccoli. There's a worm. Um, I know I saw a few more. There's a little one. So we got a couple out. All right, I got to dump this and then I'll fill it again with fresh, clean, cold water. And we'll dump the broccoli in there when it's done blanching. So I think my water lost some temperature when I dumped all that cold broccoli in there. So I'm going to let it come back to blanching temperature which is just below a boil. And then I'm gonna start timing. So it changed color just a little bit. I think it's a little bit darker. So I'm just going to let it cool down in this water and then I'm going to toss it over here on my drain and then into my freezer bags. So those 21 bags should definitely last us all winter, hopefully. If not, we'll know to do more next year. So here's an update on the stallion for you guys. He is running in the hills with his ladies, so he is probably super happy about that. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you never miss a video, and we will talk to you soon.